Hi this is Kwon and Zhang Min from the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. We are the co-first authors of Dibelurf, Dynamic Deblurring Neural Radiance Fields for Blurry Monocular Video, and our advisors are Professor Ji Hong Oh and Professor Muntral Kim. Recently, several methods of dynamic view synthesis for a casually captured monocular video have been proposed for easier applications. However, Motion blur arises as a consequence of either object motion or camera shake caused by the accumulation of light during video acquisition. In addition, the accuracy of camera poses extracted by structure from motion algorithms from blurry monocular videos, including deformable objects, is particularly low. Therefore, synthesizing sharp novel spatio-temporal views from monocular video is faced with challenges when blurriness presents in the given frames. One straightforward solution is to apply 2D video deblurring as a preprocessing step to the given blurry frames before optimizing video nerfs. However, this naive approach has a significant drawback as independently deblurring frames in the pixel domain can introduce inconsistent geometry in 3D space. Several deblurring nerfs have been developed to address blurriness in static multi view images. However, they encounter difficulties in capturing temporal information when extended to blurry monocular videos. This is due to the absence of a motion aware deblurring module along the temporal dimension. Additionally, the existing state of the art monocular video nerf methods cannot be directly applied to deblur nerfs from given blurry frames because they lack an effective deblurring component and time aware pose optimization methods. To address these challenges, we first propose a novel dynamic deblurring nerf for blurry monocular video, called Dibelurf, which utilizes an effective joint optimization of base ray initialization and dynamic scene reconstruction. In addition, it has a temporal information aware deblurring approach considering global camera motion and local object motion. We also propose two novel loss functions for effectively optimizing sharp radiance fields without any mask supervision and reconstructing robust geometry, respectively. The experimental results demonstrate that our Dibelurf achieves superior performance compared to the previous state of the art methods qualitatively and quantitatively. This is the overall architecture of Dibelurf. Dibelurf consists of two main procedures which are base ray initialization, BRI, stage and motion decomposition based deblurring, MDD, stage. If we directly utilize the input rays which are derived from the camera poses obtained through structure from motion algorithms from blurry videos for dynamic deblurring nerf optimization, it results in suboptimal outcomes. To solve this issue, in the BRI stage, we coarsely reconstruct robust dynamic radiance fields and refines the initialization of base rays using imprecise input camera rays. In details, the BRI stage consists of two components, the dynamic nerf rendering and the ray warping. For the dynamic nerf rendering, we decompose our radiance representation into static net and dynamic net and separately estimate the rendered colors of the static scene component and the dynamic scene component via continuous volume rendering. Furthermore, our Dibelurf combines the outputs of static net and dynamic net via the staticness probability to get the full rendered color. For the ray warping, we initialize the base rays to predict better latent sharp rays by warping them from the input rays. To handle the ill posedness of jointly optimizing dynamic radiance fields and base ray initialization, we propose a novel interleave optimization strategy that alternatively optimizes the ray refinement and static and dynamic nets. In the MDD stage, we propose a novel incremental latent sharp rays prediction method which effectively synthesizes the physical blur process considering global camera motion and local object motion based on the target sharp ray. For each predicted latent sharp rays as well as the base ray, Dibelurf separately renders the colors and averages them to predict the blurry, static, dynamic, and full colors. Especially, for prediction of the latent sharp rays, we first model the global camera motion blur process which occurs in both static and dynamic scene components, using a learnable screw axis. Then, we further decompose the blurry rays into local object motions along the global camera motion by refining each predicted latent sharp ray considering pixel-wise local object motion using a simple MLP. This overall process including BRI and MDD stages is only applied only during the training stage. In the inference stage, the full color of the inference target ray is synthesized for sharp target novel view. From now on, we will show the experimental results of our Dibelurf by comparing with the previous SOTA methods on the newly synthesized blurry iPhone dataset. As shown in the demo video and table, our Dibelurf significantly outperforms the state-of-the-art novel view synthesis methods for various metrics including perceptual quality and temporal consistency.
By optimizing the dynamic neural radiance fields using the blurry frames in left side, our Dibelurf effectively synthesized novel views of the video with high fidelity as well as high temporal consistency. To show the robustness of our Dibelurf against degrees of blurriness, we optimized Dibelurf with two datasets, the newly synthesized blurry iPhone dataset and the original iPhone dataset. We show the rendered color of the base ray with green boxes and the averaged rendered color with blue boxes. Also, we visualize the each rendered color of latent sharp rays predicted by Dibelurf trained with each datasets. As shown, Dibelurf adaptively predicts latent rays to stably model the physical blur process, maintaining the sharpness of the base rays rendering color regardless of the degrees of blurriness in the training frames. Specifically, Dibelurf predicts diverse latent sharp rays with large standard deviation when trained with the blurry iPhone dataset whereas predicts consistent latent sharp rays with smaller standard deviation with the original iPhone dataset. Thanks to this adaptive optimization capacity, Dibelurf maintains consistent results between the two datasets across all metrics, demonstrating its robustness to different degrees of blurriness. On the other hand, both T-Nerf and Hypernerf experience substantial performance declines across all metrics when trained with the proposed blurry iPhone dataset. Thank you for listening and please feel free to leave comments if you have any questions.